Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandparents. It's time to read another b- page of our picture Bible in page 48 in the Bible in Pictures for Little Eyes. Very interesting picture here. We have Moses. He's stretching his hand back over the sea. And it looks like the waters are closing over. They're closing over some people. Who are those people? Oh, that's the king. That's the king and his army. Yeah. And they're going to drown. And on the other side of Moses is all the children of Israel. Looks like God rescued them. He used Moses to open the waters of the sea and to close the waters. And there's the cloud. There's the cloud right there. Yeah, the people follow. Isn't that something? Let's read the story that goes with this picture. What is happening in this picture? Can you see Moses standing there? He's holding up his stick, and now the water is coming to cover the bad king and his soldiers. Yeah, God pushed the water away so his people could walk through the sea on dry ground. And they are safe now. Do you see them there in the in back of Moses? Yeah, that's God's people. <laughs> the king chased after them and his soldiers, but went just when he, when he was in the middle, God let the water come back over the, the soldiers and the soldiers drowned. You can see the water beginning to cover them up, but God's people are safe behind the cloud that God sent to them. You know, I have a really interesting story from my family about this picture. One of my cousins is a filmmaker and he's been to this sea and he's been with underwater divers. And you know what they found at the bottom of this sea? They found chariot wheels and armor and and weapons and implements that an army would use, hundreds of them at the bottom of the sea in one place. And that proves that the Bible is true. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of a neat story. So here's a couple questions that go along with the, the, this picture. Number one, how did God's people get through the, that sea? Well, God split the sea wide open, right? And the water stood up like a wall on both sides and they walked over on dry ground. Yeah, and what's number two, what is happening to the soldiers? Well, their armor is too heavy and they can't swim. Right? Some of them are lashed to their horses, and so they're, they're drowning with their horses. The whole army is drowning in the sea. Yeah, better not, better not pick a fight with God. You're probably not going to win. <laughs> you can read more about this in your Bible with words in Exodus chapter 14, verses 26 through 31. Make sure and subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Pastor Wayne H. And ding the bell so you get notifications when new Bible stories come out. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time for another page in the Bible and pictures for little eyes.